What is up everyone? My name is Edward Lee and I'm a photographer and filmmaker. And in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the Lytra Pro. We're gonna be going over what comes inside of the box, basic operations on how to use the light itself. We're also going to be going over the app and how to control it with the app and practical applications and accessories so that you can fit it in your workflow. So before we dive in and open the box itself, let's go over some of the specs that Lytra has put on the box. Obviously, this light is a 3000 to 6000 Kelvin bicolor LED, which means you can change the color of the light. It has a lumen output of 1200. It's a 10 plus hour rechargeable battery. It's waterproof, it's rugged, and it's also flicker free. And it's also app controlled. So on the side of the box, it says that there's a 95 plus CRI and a full color spectrum. Now, Lytra wanted to show us the actual R values and averages for all of the colors, which just means that there's a very balanced color spectrum for vivid images and video. The average number of all these R values combined is what gives it 95 CRI, which is far better than a lot of the more expensive and larger LED lights on the market. So once you open the box, first you will see a quick start guide card, which will give you steps on how to download the app, which we'll get to a little bit later. And in the box itself, we will find the Lytra Pro light. You'll also find a diffuser for the light. The light also comes with a little carry bag, which is awesome for traveling. You could throw the light in here and it actually is big enough to carry a few accessories as well. Next, you have a cold stream mount, which you can screw into the light directly, which allows you to put the light on things like a DSLR or mirrorless camera. They've also included a GoPro mount, which allows you to use the light on different types of action setups. And last but not least, in the box, you will find the USB charging cable. So let's dive into some of the basic functions on how to use the Lytra Pro. First and foremost, there's the power button on the right side. All you have to do is hold it down and the light will turn on. As you can tell, there's an OLED display right directly on top, and it reads out the intensity, the color temperature, and also the battery life. These settings that you see on the OLED display also map into the app as well, so you'll be able to see this information much better inside of the app. So the brightness setting is located on the left side of the light, so as you hit the plus sign, you will see the light get brighter, and it can get all the way up to 100%, and as you hit the minus sign, it will decrease the intensity of the light. Now on the other side of the light, you'll see another plus and minus button, but this controls the color temperature or the Kelvin. As you increase the Kelvin of the light, you will see the light get more cool or more towards the daylight temperature. And as you decrease the Kelvin, you'll see the light get warmer, or more towards the tungsten color temperature. So on the Lytra Pro, there are two quarter 20 mounts, one on the bottom and one on the side. You can mount this cold shoe directly onto one of the quarter 20 mounts, just like this. Once you've put the cold shoe onto the Lytra Pro, you can mount it onto any mirrorless or DSLR camera or any kind of camera rig that has a cold or hot shoe mount. Now to put on the light diffusion, all you have to do is put it right on front of the light, just like you would a normal cap. Having the light diffusion is great because when you're filming things like faces and skin tones, you don't want the light to be too harsh. So the diffusion actually cuts out a lot of the shadows, thus giving you a cleaner and softer looking image. Now, to charge the Lytra Pro once it has died, all you have to do is open the waterproof door, plug in the micro USB cable, and then obviously plug in the USB into any kind of hub or plug it into the wall using a USB adapter. A quick little reminder on the waterproof door is that you wanna make sure that the gasket is free of any kind of debris or dirt. You also want to make sure when you close the door itself, you hear a little click because that little click is what's gonna let you know that the door is fully shut and that you'll be able to submerge the light underwater. You'll notice that the Lytra Pro or the physical temperature of the actual light itself will get pretty hot once it's been on high intensity for a long period of time. So we recommend that you use it on things like light stands or the cold shoe mount that's included in the box. However, the Lytra Pro does have an intelligent thermal management system, which just means that if the light gets too warm, it'll automatically decrease the intensity to 50%, or if it gets way too hot, it'll shut off on its own. Next, we're gonna talk about how to connect the Lytra Pro to the Lytra app. First, if you haven't already, you're going to want to download the app. You're gonna to wanna to search Lytra in the Apple or Google Play Store. Once you've found the app, make sure to download it to your device. Then you want to make sure that your device has Bluetooth turned on. After you turned on Bluetooth, you want to turn on the Lytra Pro light itself. After that, you want to click add light in the app. Then you're gonna to want to follow the prompts that the app gives you. So as you can see in the app, you're able to adjust the brightness, 
and also the color temperature or Kelvin of the light itself. The app also allows you to turn on strobe mode. The strobe mode in the app is pretty intuitive because you can set up the minimum brightness and also the maximum brightness. The reason why this is important is because if you set the minimum brightness to 0%, you can tell it cuts out completely when it's at its minimum. But if you set it to maybe 35%, you can kind of get a bit of a dimming effect. This specific feature on the strobe mode makes the light really flexible and versatile for a plethora of different filmmaking scenes. In the app, there's also a button called Blackout. This allows you to black out the light, which is essentially putting the Lytra Pro in standby mode. And then once you put the light back on, it'll come back at the settings that you last left it. You can also power off the light straight from the app, which is completely shutting off the Lytra Pro light. However, if you do wanna turn it back on now, you're gonna to have to actually physically press the Lytra Pro in order to connect it back to the app. Another great feature about the Lytra app is that you can simultaneously control multiple Lytra Pros. Let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna power on the second Lytra Pro. Then you're gonna to go to the plus sign on the app, connect the second Lytra Pro light, now, once the mobile device has both Lytra Pros connected with the app, I can actually group them. So I put it to group A, and then go over to the second light, also put it to group A. Once you've grouped the lights together, you can control all the settings simultaneously, such as brightness, or the color temperature, and also even blackout mode. And with the Lytra app, you can control up to seven Lytra Pros at the same time, and have up to three separate groups. Now, what would you use the Lytra Pro for and on what kind of shoots? Well, the Lytra Pro is super versatile and compact, but it's great to use for any kind of key light even because it's so bright, fill lights, three-point lighting for interviews, and underwater light. Really, the use cases are pretty endless. You can even use it as an accent light or as a practical light because of its small size. The Lytra Pro is awesome for you run and gun filmmakers because it doesn't really take up too much space in your gear bag. It's also great for you vloggers because of its small size and high output. Also, if you're a photographer who does product photography, portrait photography, and you don't have too much space, the Lytra Pro is awesome because it's pretty much professional lighting in your pocket. Lytra has also made a bunch of pro accessories available for this light to fully kit it out. They have things like a softbox, barn doors, honeycomb, and even colored gels. Most people who purchase the Lytra Pro purchase it in a bundle with one of each accessory. There's also a ton of accessories to use this light with an action camera, such as a GoPro. So they have like double and triple mounts using the GoPro mount that's provided in the box. And like we mentioned earlier, because of the quarter 20 mounts on the side and the bottom, you can pretty much mount this light anywhere. So I hope this breakdown and unboxing video was helpful for you guys and hope you learn more about the Lytra Pro and how it can fit into your workflow. If you wanna learn more about this light, make sure to check out lytra.com.